guys, finally I feel like I have been gone for so long. I am finally back. I really, really, truly apologize for that. This girl. Story of my life with this girl. I really apologize for being MIA, but lately just with work, it's been so stressful. You have no idea. So I really just have not been in the creative mood whatsoever like i literally get home i am exhausted i don't want to work out i don't want to do anything i just want to veg out and just watch netflix so uh, i haven't been working out as much and it's just been really bad okay so my first favorite of this month is of course i would have to talk about this would have to be the jaclyn hill collaboration with morphe i don't know why but this palette always kind of looks dirty if you touch it or stuff like that um, this palette is just so amazing. I personally think, like, let me just show you guys. Look how crazy amazing this is. Like, how many shadows you get in this. I have just been reaching for this all of the time. I take this with me for um, clients and just things in general. I just absolutely love it. I did a whole video on my thoughts and my review and even a little tutorial on it. I just think this palette is so amazing. The quality is so spot on. I couldn't say enough good things about this. I'm still using all my favorite other palettes too. It's just I love to mix and match things from here and things from other palettes. Um, like I like to use a lot of the mattes in here. They're just beautiful for the quality. I just think it's amazing. Um, I think they hit it out of the park with this one. There's so many so many different looks you can do with this palette and it's just very affordable I'm not sure if morphe still has it out now but if you can get it definitely get your hands on it i think it's a great buy i never really talk about these kinds of things but um it's very rare that i will mention a brush but speaking of morphe i just wanted to shout out this little morphe brush that is the m310 um it's supposed to be a highlight brush you just pick up the product and then you just dust it on your cheeks. It has made highlighting so easy for me. Like I just literally do it in one, two, three, boom, I'm done. And then I'll just bring it up. If I want to bring the excess product, whatever's left on the brush around my face. And it just gives me that glow like you won't believe. Also for right now, I guess strobing is the new thing. I guess this has been one of my best friends, especially for summer because everybody wants that dewy glowy look right now and this just helps you achieve it so easily with your highlight i just think it's fantastic sometimes you don't even have to go out and buy a highlighter you could just use a shimmery eyeshadow that you already have and you think it's paler and will match with your skin tone like um for example i've even i've used this one in this palette as a highlighter on occasion and it looks just as great as their normal highlight so you don't have to stick with just specific highlighters um but this brush has been amazing for any type of highlight like i am obsessed with this brush how did i apply highlight before it just makes it just so 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 easy and it's so 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 cheap that's what i love also cheap and easy hmm. <laughs> sounds kind of bad okay so moving on from that i'm gonna shout out a product that i have talked about previously before in the past um, I normally don't like to talk about things that I've already stated before as a favorite only because I feel like you guys already know what's my favorite and I don't want to keep keep mentioning I don't want to keep mentioning it every month because I don't want you guys to be like we know, we know, we know already um, but I recently had to repurchase the Mali Perfect Prep Primer again um, because I had a lot of events going on with bridal makeups and clients and stuff and i feel like to me this is the most bang for your buck for primers and smoothing it out and just making your skin look flawless i try to use the makeup forever one the gray one the smoothing one that everyone is raving about right now i just didn't like it i ended up returning it and actually the lady gave me like the made me feel like so horrible about returning it I mean, I very, very, very rarely return things, but I'm a firm believer if you've only used it a little bit, and that's what their company's motto is, that if you don't like it, bring it back. 
And then if I'm bringing it back to you and I'm trying it out for a little bit, why are you getting mad at me and questioning me when there's like a thousand people in back of me making me feel like the worst person ever for bringing this back? That's how I felt. <laughs> um, I just did not like the product that much. I felt like it reminded me a lot of the Benefit Pore Professional. And I don't think it's a bad primer. I just don't think you get a lot of bang for your buck and you need a lot more product to kind of smooth it in. That's just my personal preference. Um, so I just love this primer. I mean, I told you guys before the only con that I had was that you had to dip your finger into it. But honestly, I've never had another primer do what this primer does. So I'm just going to stick with it because this works amazing. And I... I think maybe it's because it has to be in a jar, maybe because it's whipped or something. The texture and everything is just so amazing that I will just have to dip my fingers in there and make sure that I wash them every time um, or sanitize before because this is just amazing to me. And you get so much product. The next thing that I haven't talked about really in a long, long time is my beauty blender. And I while back I had purchased two like probably two years ago and I ended up losing one one ended up ripping and I just kind of stopped using them so recently around January when I really wanted to look flawless for my wedding I repurchased this beauty blender and I used it but then I stopped using it so now um, I don't know why I just started using it again it's really dirty right now because I just used it today and haven't cleaned it um, but I just think the look that it gives your skin is so, 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 so flawless and airbrushed looking. I like that I don't have to use multiple brushes to do one certain thing. I literally only use the sponge to apply my foundation, my concealer under the eyes, and then now I've been using a cream bronzer. And I just blend that out into my skin with the bottom and just blend it out and boom, I'm done. I just touch up with blush and then highlight and do the rest of my makeup if I need to finish my brows and I'm boom it's just so 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 easy and that's why I love this thing it really gives you a flawless look without having to take as long I don't know why I forgot about this thing but I really really have been enjoying it and I really love the way it makes your skin look so fresh and weak okay so the next product I want to mention would be two concealers and these products are two different things that I use them for the first one is the L'Oreal true match and the color n678 medium deep and this is just a I had got this a long time ago this is just a concealer stick what I do with this is I just take it and I create a couple of lines on my cheekbones along my nose and anywhere else I kind of want to contour and then I go in with the beauty blender and just blend it out and if I really want my makeup to last all day and make it look really flawless I will add my normal bronzer on top of that to make sure it stays all day with the cream and the powder that I use from the bronzer just sets it so it stays literally all day so that's if I really want a flawless look and to look really nice or to just last all day with this Florida heat it just my bronzer would not stay otherwise so I feel like doing this extra step really just carves out my cheeks and make sure that my bronzer stays on all day okay so the next concealer I want to shout out because I have been so late on this hype is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I have tried this for so many times in different skin tones and stuff and finally I don't know why I've tried this color before the NC35 and it just didn't work I think in conjunction with the MAC Prep and Prime Light Boost, it just creates my perfect concealer type. I'm not even wearing the Light Boost today, but it just is perfect. Um, I just use this if I just want a natural look every day, or I don't wear makeup every day, but if I just want a more natural look that's quick and easy and out the door. Um, I think this is phenomenal. It has amazing coverage. It does not budge, and it doesn't crease. So I think this is a great, great, great concealer. And I know some people will say the downside is the pump, but I actually think to me it doesn't really bother me. I always put my concealer and foundations on my hands, and then when I'm about to apply it, I just dab it on. 
So with this, it doesn't really bother me that much. It would be nice to have it in like a wand, but it's not necessary. It's not like the end of the world. I do waste a little bit more product, but I feel like again, you get so much more product than you don't than you normally do with concealers. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world to me. I know to other people, they hate that. It's to me, you get so much product already that I mean, it's okay if you waste a little bit because you're gonna waste that anyways if you have like a stick concealer. Well, not so much a stick concealer, but you're gonna waste that anyways if you have a wand wand sometimes, I feel, because you can never get to the bottom of those. So it's good and it's bad. They have both have their cons and pros. So yeah, okay. And my last product would be my MAC Brave Lipstick. It is in the Satin Finish. This is what it looks like. I have used this before. This is such a nude mauve kind of color. Um, this isn't a typical spring color, but I recently just started using it again after I found it in one of my purses, and I love it. It's a great nude color. This is the one I used for my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial a while back, and I love it. I've used it ever since. I think this is a great color for spring, fall, summer, whenever. It's just a good neutral color, and it's really, really in right now is those mauve kind of colors. I just think this is a really, really great color um, for all year round. I just reapplied it right now. I just think it's really nice because it's not super matte. It has some kind of slipperiness to it, so it's perfect for the summer because I feel like it's a nude so it's not going to like drag all over your lips but also it gives you like some kind of like like lip balmy feeling that's what i like in the summertime i don't like it to be like matte where it's like sticking on my lips kind of sometimes now i'm just rambling um i hope you guys like my favorites of this month and i hope you guys have a great summer and just do something fun and exciting and let me know what you guys are doing i'm interested to know in the comments down below so hope you guys have a great week bye